Good morning, and welcome to another edition of A Reflection of You, Big Zay 20, coming at you live, all the way from Davenport, Iowa. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys today about something that is just one of my biggest pet peeves, and um, I'm pretty sure it's uh, some of you guys' as well. Um, oh, also, my dreadlocks are getting pretty long, aren't they? Look at them. Uh, let me just, there we go, I'll kind of loosen them up a little bit. Um, yeah, yeah, they're growing pretty fast. It'll be a year in March. So anyways, um, yeah, what I wanted to say was, there's this one thing that always bothers me, and it is bars of soap that break in half, <laughs> okay, when I'm using them, like when I finish using them. Um, so I want to show you guys how, what I do not to waste it. Um, actually, let me show you the kind of soap you use. You can do this with any kind of bar of soap. And it's really easy. I use ivory. Ten bars. Got an at high V for a really, really good deal. Um, but, and I actually got that pack like four months ago. So it's lasting pretty long. But every bar that I've had has broken in half, you know, once it gets down to its, uh, you know, uh, once it thins out, and I want to show you guys what I do. Uh, I use a shower cap when I shower because I don't like my hair getting wet unless I'm ready to wash it. And um, so what I did was I just had I had a, sh a shit ton of um, these half loose bars, you know. So what I did was I took all those bars, I took my shower cap, and I put them all in here put them all in my shower cap and I put a little bit of water in it and when you put water in it it lets it set overnight let me just get a close up here it lets it set overnight and uh, I know it looks pretty funny you guys probably think it's pretty crazy but I like to be a frugal guy and I don't like to waste much um, so energy is never created nor destroyed <clears throat> it is constant and um, so this is what I did. I, I put it in there, put it in my shower cap. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about the camera angles here. <coughs> I put it in my shower cap, and what I've done is I pretty much um, put, yeah, I put it in there, and then I put water in there, and then I closed my shower cap, and I started molding it so that, um, you know, it would start to take form. It takes a little bit, about 10 minutes of good molding. And um, this is by no means my finished pro my finished uh, look here. Um, and then uh, last night, before I went to bed, I took all those uh, crumbs out of my shower cap, and then I put ran it under some water a little bit, and then I started using my hands to mold it. So, and then you can, you know, um, you can kind of, you know, do do whatever you want. In whatever in the way you want to mold it and shape it any kind of way you want, but that's what I've got so far, and um, I am by no means done because I want to make sure that it works and it doesn't fall apart when I'm using it. And it's also pretty good. It's it's sanitary as well because they're cleaning your they're cleaning your hands as they're molding it. So. Not a bad deal, you know. Um, it would be nice if we had some kind of soap co soap compactor for, you know, loose bars. Um, but then a lot of the major soap companies would lose a lot of their money. But we would save money, and we already know they don't really have our best interests our best interest at heart. But uh, yeah, this is that. And then you just kind of, after you're done molding it with your hands, it's still kind of wet. Go ahead and tie it up a little bit. Use a shark cap or you can use a plastic bag of some sort. And um, you'll be on your way to saving money. Yes, saving money, saving money. So that's what I wanted to show you guys because losing soap is just, well, it is definitely one of my pet peeves. You know, when I get down to my legs and then I'm, you know, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm good, I'm cleaning. You know, of course I'm cleaning myself. <laughs> that was just, that was stupid. <laughs> but I get down on my legs, and then it just breaks, and then I'm like, damn, 
you know, and then I have to use the half, the little, the half part for a little bit, and then I gotta throw both of them on, you know, wherever I put them, until I get ready to, uh, do this thing here, so this is my first time doing this, can't wait to try it out, um, and we'll be good to go, and I've got that out of nine bars of soap, this is pretty much nine and a half little pieces of shitty bars of soap that have broken, okay, that's quite a big ball, too. Um, <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh man, I crack myself up sometimes. It's a good thing I'm not an egg. <laughs> Get it? Because if I was crack myself up and I'm an egg, I would spill my yolk all over the place and nobody likes an egg without yolk. Well, some people do, but they're crazy. Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. So, but anyways, um, just wanted to make that, to let you guys know about that, and a little quick way to save money, easy way. Um, maybe I'll start doing, like, you know, easy ways to save money or something, but that's one way that I do it, and, um, and we will be good to go, so, uh, also, like I said before, um, I've got some really, really special music coming you guys' way pretty soon. So, just be patient. I'm being patient with myself as well. I've um, been doing a lot of producing. And, uh, you know, what? I, I was actually thinking about this. Let me see how much better I have left. Um, I was actually thinking about this the other day. Is I noticed that uh, a lot of people, when they get on, they like to, um, they like to uh, talk about who they're working with and stuff like that. And just to kind of, kind of write the other artists who've already made it their coattails a little bit and I'm a humble guy and I by no means try to be cocky anyway whatsoever only when I feel like I need to and it really happens just because everybody you know knows the kind of person I am I never really have to have to try um, but uh I'm not gonna do that because I, I feel like I don't need to you know I think it would be nice if we had more artists that came from that space that came from the space of I, when I get on, I'm going to not r try to ride anybody else's coattails. I'm not going to try to say, I've worked with this person, or I've done this with this guy, I've, I'm now working with this guy. Don't, there's, it's not necessary if you know how special you are, you know? Um, so that's, I'm trying to come from that space more often, because once I get on, I'm not, you better believe I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm working with them now, you know, blah, 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 I'm so happy. Um, I mean, yeah, it's nice to work with people on your level who are doing you know, you're kind of, sh you're kind of shit, you know, but, I don't know, I just, I was just thinking about that, you know, because it's like, when you put that thought form out there, like, I'm working with this person, it, in the viewer's mind, in my mind at least, it makes me think that they think that they're not good enough at, as that person, um, even though this person has established more of a ground, grounding, you know, in the music business than they have, so they're trying to, you know, just kind of let them, let other people know that they're, you know, they're working way up, their way up, which is nothing wrong, there's nothing wrong with that, you know, um, but I'm just saying from my point of view, that's how I feel about it, and I feel like it's unnecessary for me, um, because, like I said, when I get on, I'm, I just, I don't want to have to, have to do any of that, you know, if you like what you hear, then you like what you hear, if you see me working with somebody, you know, who's, you know, who's had a, a good track record and has uh, established a good ground in the music world, then that's what it is, you know. You won't see me bragging about it or boasting about it, you know. It's just, it's not necessary. So, yeah, I was just thinking about that. I just figured I'd touch on that a little bit. Well, I am going to get my day started. Um, and, and probably finish writing a couple songs. And, or maybe one song. I don't know couple's kind of a lot for today, but, uh, oh yeah, I also got to put my motor in my windshield wiper because my, um, because my, uh, because my motor went out, well, actually, I don't know if it went out, so what I'm going to do is go to AutoZone, check and see if I blew a fuse first, because I spent $30 on a motor, and if it was really just the fuse, then I wasted some money, um, but I'll just take it back to where I bought it from and give it back to them, so, yep, yep, yep. Well, that's it, guys. Um, oh, also, good news. YouTube just let me know that um, I am now enabled for uh, videos, uploading videos that are longer than 15 minutes. So, 
once I get an HD camera, you guys are definitely in for a much, much longer treat. Um, it'll be pretty exciting. So I'm glad that they allow me to do that. Please subscribe to my channel. Please, because I've only got 65 subscribers. I've been a part of YouTube for like uh, two years or something. I mean, 65 people is a lot of people, to be honest. If you know some, some people think it's not that much. It's a lot of people. A lot of people checking their stuff out. But then there's also more people that can check it out. So I've got 65 people. Please become that 66, 67th, or 166 or 167th person, um, and so on and so on and so on. So, all right, y'all. That's it for now. Um, my song from my EP Epic, Give Me Love, is on YouTube right now. Check it out. YouTube.com, Big Zay20. It's also on my MySpace page. I rarely ever use MySpace anymore just because everybody just, I don't know, MySpace is just kind of, it's not lame. It's just, it's going, falling, falling in the background a little bit. So, um, but I've got a song on there, Give Me Love and Price I'll Pay. I'm going to re rework Price I'll Pay, maybe reproduce it. A lot of people are telling me they really like that song, so I'm going to rework some things in that and then uh, maybe put re-put that out there for um, more better listening for you guys. And, uh, yeah, Give Me Love, check it out. It's uh, the first single from my EP, uh, Epic. Either that one or Sayo. All you guys have already heard Sayo, and there's Sayo is um, on iTunes right now, Big Zay. Um, but it's not mi it's not mastered, and it's I I mixed it to the best of my ability, and it's not mastered or anything, and and I'm definitely gonna be getting that remix and remastered, so alright y'all, this is a 12 minute vlog, first time over 10 minutes, so I don't have to worry about it, so that definitely feels good. Alright, peace.